Hi, I'm Drew Hutchison. I am the director of Hadley Media, and today it is my great honor and privilege to interview Stanley Phil. Stanley, uh, Stola, <laughs> 100 years old today. Today is June 29th. Now, uh, 2021, born, I was born 100 years ago, today, at home, on 29 West Street. Uh, wow, and I made it, imagine. So let, let me ask you this, how old do you feel inside your head? Uh, how can I answer that? I, uh, well, I just keep... Moving along. What else? Okay. Uh, so, in this time, I mean, you, I, I, I mean, I sometimes feel like I'm old, and yet you're 40 years older than I am. So, what have you learned in the last 40 years that I need, that I'm going to learn? Well, I don't know how to answer that. Years ago, they, well, you had your own community, and we struggled uh, to survive. Right. Well, you grew up during the Great Depression. You were just a child. That's that was right. struggling. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, what do you do? Uh, what do you look forward to? Hope for the best. And that's it. Well, I lived on uh, West Street. And, uh, and then my uh, childhood days were on Mill Street. My uh, father bought a uh, uh, house on... Um, uh, 19 Mill Street, and that's where uh, I was raised as a child, and uh, went to school, school, graduated from high school, and the most important thing is, in them days, I graduated from Hopkins Academy. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say it this way. Is it something? Well, uh, uh, my father told my mother that, well, uh, the older boys should go out to work. You know, it was poor times. Mm -hmm. So if you can get a few dollars, that's a, a, a plus. Well, my mother says, no, she would like to see all the kids go through high school, at least. And I did. And uh, uh, I, have, uh, I had three brothers, four sisters. We all graduated from high, high school and plus uh, uh, more of college. Well, matter of fact, Kathleen <laughs> went to college. Uh, oh, you didn't see Steve. Uh, Steve is a electrical engineer in Florida. Uh, I got married. I built a house on A Street. So and how old were you when you were married? Uh, how old? Uh, th 30 years old. Okay, so you waited a bit. Did you... Uh Travel overseas at all? Did you, did you serve in the in the uh, military uh, or well, have any hiatus uh, I, from being in Hadley? I was. Uh, I served in the uh, U.S. Army for three and a half years. I was stationed at Fort Bragg and uh, Camp Brooker, Alabama, and a few other places. And I was just fortunate I didn't have to go overseas. Mm. And my uh, older brother was a tank driver. Uh, for our General uh, George Patton, and he was uh, he was right in the midst of mm. everything, and my younger brother was in uh, service. Well, uh, he didn't have to go uh, overseas just then, uh, and. Uh, but I, so when you came back, is that when you got married then, after serving some time in the military, uh, or well, was that during uh, after you were married? Uh, no, I. Uh, Oh no! I I I worked uh, for Pro uh, Pro Pro Brush uh, for a year. Then I went to the service. Then after service, I worked on a family farm. We had 22 acres of all cultivated land, uh, which was asparagus, mm -hmm. onion, six, seven uh, acres of onion. That had to be taken care of. Uh, us boys, or even the girls, were uh, did not. Uh, uh, participate in the school sports because we had to uh, be home, weed onions, do, uh, do the homework. And, oh, and matter of fact, in 1938, a uh, hurricane, uh, the, uh, 
the hurricane dropped three elm trees onto our house. And we were without electricity for over a month. So you see, well, what a, I was still a junior in high school. How did I do my homework uh, with, like the, with the, no, uh, no electricity at home? So it, it was tough. And we glad that we survived and we uh, graduated. And oh, in uh, 1952, I uh, uh, married uh, my wife, Anna Oshak from uh, Hatfield. How did you meet her? At, at the polka dance at the White Eagle Hall in Northampton. There used to be polka dances every weekend, and it was a uh, good way to get away from everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, a wonderful place to meet people. And uh, that was great. Of course, like now, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, you have a party, uh, the younger ones don't want to come because what do they do? They're right there, uh, oh, or they'll come just for a few minutes and go home and watch TV. Mm -hmm. They watch sports. Mm -hmm. In my days, there were no Toby. There were no great, great sports like it is now with uh, Patriots winning or <laughs> exactly with it. Right. So, and uh, oh, we and uh, we had uh, five children: Elizabeth, uh, and she's a teacher at the uh, uh, public school, school. Mary is a registered nurse in Salisbury, uh, Massachusetts. That's where I go uh, to the beach. That uh, Thomas is a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 he makes out uh, people's uh, income taxes. Okay. And he's a tax uh, uh, accountant. He's been at it for, for over 40 years. And, uh, and matter of fact, he d does a little bit on his own <laughs> for his friends, for his uh, uh, family. And Kathleen, she is a tour guide. And I got the seven grandchildren. They're one. I, well, and I, I feel fortunate that I was born and raised in Hadley. So. What's well, the best thing about Hadley? What do you really love about Hadley? Well, I, I like uh, that it's uh, small. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we, we know all the people. Oh, and matter of fact, I did uh, forget uh, in along my getting. Uh, I uh, oh, I married my girl, uh, my wife from Hatfield. I brought her to Had Hadley, and I did my part in politics. I was on the uh, board of the um, senior center. Uh, from a candidate of four, I received the most vo uh, votes. And then I was also on the Board of Appeal, uh, Health, uh, uh, Health Department, when uh, the uh, select board uh, parted with the health mm -hmm. uh, to make a different one. And, oh, oh, and what else? Gosh, I should have written that. <laughs> You've done plenty, I'm sure. And, oh, I do uh, vote in every election. <laughs> I'm not saying no, if I'm a Democrat or a Republican, but I do vote. I am an unenrolled uh, citizen, right? So I can vote uh, to uh, Democrat or Republican. Uh, in my writing, I have my father years ago. He favored the Republican Party. Why? Because the uh, the crops that he raised, he made more money on in comparison whenever a Democrat was in power. Why? I don't know, but th this is what he said. Right, and interesting. So, uh, and what else? Oh, I, I was on the Board of Appeal. Oh, I was a, uh, um, uh, after uh, the service, I joined the American Legion, and right now I am a 76 year member of the American Legion. I've been a member ever since. And wow. let's say July 1st, I'll be 77 years. <laughs> wow, so is that a record? Well, I guess it is. Well, uh, you see, because of the, um, uh, uh, you, we, we couldn't really have 
open meetings mm -hmm. that much. So uh, I've got citations and whatever. So we don't know. Right. Is it the record? Uh, well, it's it's getting up high enough. Right. Anyhow. Well, you keep going and you'll make it a record if it's not. <laughs> well, uh, so and, and speaking of which, in the paper you said that you'd like five more years to have another party in five years. So you're planning to be at least 105. Um, and who, and if you're feeling good, you can keep going. Of course, I mean nobody's stopping you. Uh, what would you like to learn in the next five years that you don't know now? Do you play a musical instrument? My goodness, <laughs> what did I like to learn? What am I going to learn? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I better take it easy. <laughs> no, 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 you know. Uh, all right, I'm 100 yep. today, and if I'm shooting for uh, 105, you know, I've got to be careful. Uh, uh, watch every step I take. Yeah. Because, uh, all right, I have a cane. I can walk without the cane on the floor, but it comes to the uh, lawn or the uh, out the garden. I should have whether it's a hoe or Something a to, stick mm -hmm. or a, uh, uh, a cane. Uh, well, so I gotta uh, watch myself. Okay. How am I gonna reach uh, 105? You know. Right. Uh, but uh, how did you even get to 100? Well. <laughs> I mean, what is your secret? Can you share it with us? Gosh. <laughs> eat your vegetables, is that it? I, I do uh, eat vegetables. Hear that, and, kids? Uh, all right. <laughs> Probably it's uh, not a very uh, uh, good gesture. But, all right. Um, like, uh, uh, there's a group of women, and uh, they were saying, golly, how, uh, one woman said, how come the Polish women are healthier than, uh, than uh, all the rest of us. And this uh, one uh, uh, in, in charge, she says, well, because they eat cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> they eat, yeah, they, sure. They eat their kapusta. <laughs> That's right. They have the sauerkraut. That's good for your gut biome. They're only now discovering how important the gut is, right. and that sauerkraut is one of the most important foods you can right. eat. Right. Well, uh, it could be a uh, cheap way to say it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's going to be uh, uh, uprising. It's uh, very important for your health. That's right. So, uh, what was my head? Well, I've uh, eaten my share of capusta or whatever, and uh, I just uh, carry through, try to be careful, and uh, well, not to overdo it. Mm -hmm. And what else can I say? Are you happy? Yes, I am. Well, uh, of course, you, you know, most of all, I'm happy that I made 100. Yeah. Because, you know, it is, uh, uh, it, it not, may not mean anything to you. It does. But it, it mean, does. It means uh, something to me. I made 100. I am the only uh, Phil in Hadley in North Hadley and Connecticut and in Poland that I know of that uh, I'm the oldest Phil in Iran. Right. So that's an honor in itself. It is. Well, you see, uh, my uh, oldest brother is uh, 40 years older and uh, uh, when he passed away at 97 and four days, uh, I said, gosh, I was uh, four years uh, younger. I said, well, I want to beat him. Uh, why, why can't I live longer than him? All right, and I did. Then my cousin, uh, Henry Phil from North Hadley, he lived 97 and 10 months, and I did it. And so, gosh, next step, what do I do? Well, I want to live to be 100. Right. So now that I, I got it, so what do I do? <laughs> 105. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, why 105? Uh, we've had a family reunion uh, 20 years ago, uh, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, and yesterday. Right. And uh, a lot of people are interested. And matter of fact, I have uh, written, oh, I've taken uh, computer courses and uh, um, 
I learned about, oh, I, I belong to, uh, oh, I did belong to uh, Young Men's Club, the Men's Club, and uh, different organizations, and the uh, Polish Genealogical Society of Massachusetts, and matter of fact, uh, oh, John Skibitsky is the one that encouraged me. Uh, 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 he invited uh, me and uh, a few others to his house in 1989, and I was just, uh, uh, retiring from a VA. I was a warehouse warehouseman at the VA. Before that, I was a press manager at Blida Ford. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember Blida. B I, I don't. B-L-Y-D-A. It was a big active uh, garage uh, on King Street. And uh, so you had to be very detail-oriented for that kind of work, keeping track of all the inventory and knowing where everything is and making right. sure that you have enough of everything. Uh, well, and then it, it, it's a fast move, and, uh, and to keep up with the inventory and sell these parts. Well, so uh, anyhow, I made it, and from there I went to be a warehouseman at the uh, VA hospital. And I uh, retired at, uh, at uh, over 30 years. So. Uh, that was in 1989, and I started off genealogy. So I have uh, uh, looked up. It used to be on a reel to reel. Yes, reel to reel. Now it is on microfilm, right. and it is so much easier. I don't have to go to Pittsfield or to uh, uh, Springfield Library, in which you try to make uh, connections. Uh, you can do it right out of your own home or go to your your uh, town library and they'll connect you. Mm -hmm. So I, and I've got a book in which I've been uh, 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 selling available for $25. A but, book that you wrote? Yes. About and, Pol Polish genealogy? Or? Yes, it all uh, is. Uh, over 80 pages of genealogy work. But what did you really find out? So do, you do, the, do, do all this gene genealogy, then it takes you back to Poland. And then they, they have parish records that you go through to find out where people were baptized, where they were born, what towns they were from. Uh, uh, well, uh, it's more or less a, 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 a general write-up. Okay. It's, it's too bad that the Catholic didn't uh, bring a, a book just for a quick uh, view. Well, if people want to find it, where would they find this book? Uh, is it available? Well, uh, well, it just so happened uh, we were taking orders uh, uh, about a month uh, ago, uh, how many books, and let's say the family, uh, it's a spread out family, right. because, uh, and all the uh, grandchildren, uh, they're wanting a book, because right. what, they want to know. They want to know. Uh, want to know. Who's your parents? Who's your grandparents? Great, great, uh, great, 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 and all, also. Uh, and the next thing is, uh, we have a very uh, ticklish situation uh, because uh, North ha uh, people will ask, well, how come you are uh, related to North Hadley? Well, uh, the, there is a uh, uh, sort of a stepping stone. Uh, uh, North had the fills have the same great 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 grandparent, and the second and the third, and then the fourth. And at the fourth, my uh, grandfather, or let's say my father's father, was uh, 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 named Joseph. And his brother uh, was Michael, and uh, uh, these it didn't matter because they were just uh, uh, party members. But now uh, it comes for uh, Michael. Michael is a, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, Reaper. How do you say it? Reaper? So we have a book here 
That, yes. Is this the book yeah. that we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So we have the, the Phil and Sliz Family Genealogy, researched and written by Stanley Phil, 1763 to 2021. You, you made this. Yes, I, on my computer. Wow. So, all right. Let's see. And you did all this. Here we are. Here's my great great, and, and second, third, and then it's uh, Joseph, my father's father. father. Mm -hmm. My father is here, and this is my mother. And her mother and father are D. Mm -hmm. So, and but North Hadley is over here, and uh, it's uh, the name is uh, uh, Michael. Yos you see, Joseph mm -hmm. and Michael were brothers. Right. And this, these are the other members of the family, but Michael got to be a leader of his own faith. So Michael is there. And it's still the uh, a fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And so this is North Hadley Phil, and then it's uh, uh, the one in Can Canada Phil, and then uh, it comes to S S uh, Sebastian, mm -hmm. and this is the uh, Poland Phil. Okay. Wow. How long did this take you to, one thing, did you even, so you learned how to use a computer. So did you know how to type before you started on a computer? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I had to type in, in, uh, in high school. This is my, my brother's, oh, all right. Uh, Joe, my father, my mother, and Chester passed away. And uh, and that's me. And my brother John passed away. He was a carpenter. And uh, Mina, Helen, Jenny, and so forth. May I show this to the audience real quick? I'm I'm gonna just hold this up. And that is you. That's me. My finger is on Stanley from a few years ago. <laughs> And it's that way. And here are my grandchildren. <laughs> my brother's wife and uh, uh, children, grandchildren, and down to the very last one. Look at that. 12, 18, 20, 20. <laughs> 20, 22. And my Chester uh, married, we had, didn't have any children, uh, and then here's my, me and uh, my wife and my children. Uh, and then Jenny, she was married, but there were no children. Then it's Helen and John. Look at the children here. And then, Stacia. look at that. Wow. Stacia and Amida and whatever. That's it. So, What a labor of love this was for you. <laughs> were you disappointed when you were done in a way? When I was what? When you completed this, and was, was part of you like, oh, I've finished this. <laughs> wow. I was going to say, that, that looks like that could have been taken only a few days ago. <laughs> yes, it was. Matter of fact, it was the last minute, I have to say, because look at the 24. June 24, that's pretty recent. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's lovely. Wow, so, okay, so, you're, so this is, this is cur very current to well, 2021. Yes. All right, so this is my uh, mother's uh, mm -hmm. maiden name. And were they, by the way, so they, I know that a lot of times when people came over from other countries, their names were changed. So was the Phil name, is that the Polish spelling or was it changed? Uh, no, it has not. Okay. Uh, uh, my mother came into uh, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, New, New York, and uh, and I had a uh, 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 hard time finding her uh, inheritance. I, I just then I went to the Springfield Library, and uh, and uh, one of the uh, uh, head ones. I says, "Can you help me on this one? I'm looking for Regina Sliz, S L I Z." And he came back later. He says, "Well, I don't see anything, uh, but I do see S L I S." Well, of course, you see, uh, in Poland, you had these Germans, and uh, how do you pronounce some of these names? That's right. They did the best they can. That's right. And, well, I says, gosh, there's not the name, but I'll check. And I uh, checked in there further, further, and further. And then, uh, all right, in the uh, uh, write-up, it was, no, it's, it's not, it's not here. But mm -hmm. it, it said, uh, uh, B-R- period, I period, L period. I said, gosh, what does that mean? And then I reached further. I said, oh, yeah, that's her. That means brother-in-law. This is my, uh, my uh, uh, mother's uh, uh, brother-in-law. He married my mother's sister. So right. it, you see, uh, it can be such a difficult thing but sometimes it gets to be so exciting. Well, yes. Says, That's You're it. on the trail. <laughs> yeah. So you see, it starts off with the genealogy. 1763. And, well, you see, uh, we don't have anything for, for uh, 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 what born. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, you see, you have it on all these others. Here's his kids uh, born and died. And died. <laughs> And uh, uh, first generation, second generation, third generation, and so forth. Uh, but all right, uh, if if we knew the uh, dates of uh, uh, they were born, then we would know their uh, mother and father, and it would be another step, right. which would be. So this uh, is where you. That's where you found no more information to go further. Uh, well, yes, uh, uh, we had to stop here because. We uh, we gotta find out. Oh, all right, uh, now uh, 1963. 1763. Uh, 1763. Uh, can we say it, uh, 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 Lucas? Uh, generation number two. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, here is his uh, birthday and die. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, can we? Uh, so how did this? Uh, we come up with this. Is twenty uh, years, twenty-four years, twenty-six years? Is that enough uh, to estimate uh, more than generation two? Mm -hmm. So that's how we come okay. up with uh, 1763, more or less. Right. Hmm? Well, it gives you a bit an understanding, even right. if, it, is it, if even if it isn't precise, it hmm. tells you a story. Right. All right. First, second generation, and third. And keeps on going, and then it's. And while you were researching this and finding out, you know, when your ancestors were born and died, and their children, did you find out more of their story about, you know, why, for instance, why did your family move to? Um, to well, America? Uh, of course, you see, uh, uh, that was uh, sort of an uh, easy uh, answer to uh, uh, to make, uh, because why did all those people uh, from uh, certain parts of Poland uh, uh, come here because uh, uh, it was poor section, uh, poor living. Mm -hmm. a and everybody throughout the whole world, it was, uh, well, uh, uh, well, they were farmers, so they had uh, 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 enough food to eat, but then again, how do you uh, do further? Well, uh, my mother and father both did get a uh, uh, roughly education mm -hmm. because they know how, knew how to read and write. So, and uh, uh, but all right, let's say like uh, uh, my wife's uh, father, and he came over a few uh, uh, years earlier than my uh, parents, and uh, he did not know how to read or write. Why? Well, you look at the uh, passport. Uh, 
uh, where, where he came, uh, says, if I remember, 23 uh, knew how to uh, read or write, and 34 did not. You see, it was ordinary. That's how it was. They weren't getting an education. So that really does kind of, I, I mean, to me, that shows the value of a basic education. Right. People need to know how to read and write. Right. Well, uh, my mother knew how to read and write. My father knew how to read and write. And luckily, oh, and matter of fact, uh, my father went to uh, uh, night school in Russell School. <laughs> yeah, where Bernie Stein was uh, teaching. And he was active in the politics, or he was interested in politics. Mm -hmm. So, and like that. So, and I don't know what else. Well, I'm just, imp I am so impressed. But I suppose you've had plenty of time to work on this, huh? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, you have a nerve to say that. All right, uh, 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 let me say it this way. My wife uh, passed away uh, 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, even to this day, we want to know uh, why did she pass away? What, what caused her? We don't know. We had an, uh, asked for an uh, anatopsy, and still they say, well, it's just normal. So you see how it is. And uh, uh, so, uh, what do you do? Uh, yeah, that, that was a big moment in your life. Uh, oh, uh, all right. Uh, gee, I just forget myself every now and then. Uh, no, we try to uh, carry on mm -hmm. and do the best we can. Oh, and uh, 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 I took typing in, uh, in high school. Of course, it is interfered with the uh, 1938 hurricane that uh, dropped trees onto our house. And, uh, but uh, I graduated. I went to Northampton Commercial College uh, for a while. And I went, went to work at Pro Brush. Mm. And then I, oh, I went to the service. And I was a, 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 a T5 a technical fifth grade, and uh, I served my country, and so, uh, as I say, I did my duty, and I uh, uh, vote in all the town and uh, uh, state and uh, federal elections, well, because that's my duty, mm -hmm. and whatever party I cho choose, well, that's, that's my business. That's right. So. So I don't know what else is there to say. Well, I, what else? Does, is it, is, I'm just so thankful that you that you have agreed to be interviewed um, because you have stories to share, and we don't know. I mean, five years. I, I may not be here in five years, but I sure hope you are. And well, well, <laughs> good luck with that. Well, well, you be see, careful. Well, you see, uh, uh, each year uh, uh, I started off twenty years, uh, twenty years, fifteen years, uh, ten years, five years. We've been having a family reunion every uh, five years, and so uh, yesterday they're saying, "Well, well, what's your aim now?" He said, "Well, golly, I can't uh, start uh, stop at one or two years. Why not uh, just uh, ask for five? Uh, two thousand. <laughs> so Stanley, how about this? If in five years you're you're still plugging away, and I'm still here, I would love to sit down with you again and well, have another that conversation. Well, that would be a, that would be a, really a remembrance. And so thank you so much for coming on here today. Happy birthday! Thank you, and I wish I can live to be a hundred five. How's that? That sounds great. <laughs> That's probably wishful thinking in a way, but then it is again, wishful thinking. That's well, what wishes are for. Well, uh, 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 are we going to uh, wish for just peanuts? Let's for uh, wish for some uh, worthwhile. That's right. And uh, five more years. That would be really a uh, record. You well, could do a lot in five well, years. Well, let me say it. Uh, there, I, I I bought a book. Uh, uh, of the uh, registered people in Hadley. Mm -hmm. And I uh, found that 
I was the oldest male in town. And uh, somebody said, oh, there's somebody uh, here that's 107. He said, well, I never even heard of that, but uh, is he in the nursing home or is or did he just come in from, from some other town right. and he's planted there? But I was born in Descent and lived in Descent all this this while, and, and that's it. You've been very and, blessed. And I think, uh, oh, and then uh, Blondie uh, Veronica question. you probably never heard. No. She is in a nursing home. In Hadley Nursing, uh, oh, a resident of Hadley, mm -hmm. and uh, she's 103. Okay. Well, if she's in a nursing home and I strike 100, why can't I uh, beat her? I think that sounds pretty reasonable, quite frankly. So You're if, in good health, right? If I uh, start off with 105, well, it's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you, Stanley. I hope the rest of your day goes really well for you. <laughs> well, it's, it's enjoyable uh, talking to you. Thank you very yeah. much. And see you in five years. Very good. That's a plan. That's a plan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.